투자의 답은 미국에 있습니다. 어려운 미국 주식 쉽게 알려드릴게요. 서학개미 필수 시청 영상 1위 꼭 되고 싶습니다. 미국장 리뷰부터 국내장 프리뷰까지 돈 되는 정보만 싹싹 긁어모은 올인원 방송 매경제 아메리카 리포트 메아리 지금 바로 함께 시작해보도록 하겠습니다. 아니 광복절 아침에 메아리라니 이게 무슨 일인가 싶으시죠? 변동성이 큰 혼란한 증시 이 막막하셨을 투자자분들을 위해서 메아리가 직접 발로 뛰었습니다. 월가 현장에서 가장 빠르게 시장의 변화, 이 투자의 흐름을 포착하는 분이죠. 그레니치어즈 CEO 윌 린드 씨와 함께 만나서요. 혼란한 시장 답을 찾아보는 시간 함께 가셔보도록 하겠습니다. Hello, nice to meet you, Will. Really. It's really long time to see. So how have you been? I've been doing well, thank you. Really nice to see you again, thank you. Um, been a bit of a volatile time in the stock market, but um, overall doing well, thank you. Yeah, there was a really big slump in Korean stock market too. So recently there was a really big drop in both global stock market, both in US, Japan and Korea. So how was the US market situation and is there any change to individual investors in US? On Monday of this week, um, after we saw the big stock market drop in Japan, there was a big drop um, here in the U.S. market, at least at the beginning, just before the market opened. But it sort of largely recovered, um, and we ended up the day down, but um, it wasn't nearly as bad as the beginning. And I think from there, things have started to get better as investors have come in and tried to buy the, buy the dip. I hope... Not only U.S., but also global market can recover as soon as possible. So I'm not sure this is true, but there is also some backstories or rumors about the drop of this big slump. Because people say that the Wall Street creditors deliberately created the market to cut the interest rate. So do you think it can be credible? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, this, to me, was all about the Japanese market and the unwinding of the yen carry trade. Um, but Japanese market crashed the worst performance in history, even worse than the 1987 crash. So on a day like that, you're going to get um, volatility in global stock markets. And really, that was the main cause of what happened here in the U.S. and in other markets around the world. I mean, sure... There have been some weaker economic data points in the U.S., particularly on Friday's jobs report, but not nearly enough to drop the market like what happened on Monday after Japan. Oh, so you said that more than the weak data, the yen carry trade can be the main cause. So anyway, I think we really close to the period of the roaring the interest rate. So people almost expecting more than... 50 BP in September. So what do you think the, what is the best scenario is the most positive for our future stock? So how many times and how much will the Fed cut the rates in September? Yeah, so I think that um, if it probably wasn't for the fact that the market bounced back this week and at least today has been a, been a strong performance, I think we could have been talking about potentially a rate cut before September. But I think now we're really talking about a rate cut uh, happening in September, probably half a percentage point in September. And then I think the Fed will do what they've done all along, which is they will look at the data um, to justify any further cuts this year. But I think what's really positive for the stock market is almost beyond interest rates themselves. It will be the continuing drop in inflation numbers. And I think that's almost more important for the market than the interest rate cuts themselves. Yes. So there are so many different things that we have to cover <laughs> for this stock market. So we are really busy and we have to study a lot. So the U.S. presidential election is another important point for the stock market. So what strategies are being implemented on the Wall Street and your company, Granny, shares for the presidential election? So what stand should our individual investors have to take? Yeah, this is a really interesting question. And, you know, I think the one thing that we can say is that stock markets have actually performed well under both presidential administrations. So the stock market performed very well under President Trump, 
and has also performed really well under President Biden, albeit with two slightly different approaches. The one common thing, though, between the two of them is that large mega cap technology companies, I think for me, really stand out. The likes of NVIDIA, the likes of Apple, the likes of Google, Tesla, et cetera. And they, those companies have done well um, in both administrations. I think that if people were looking for some more insight, perhaps, as to what might happen under a President Trump um, administration, you know, potentially that goes back to some of the things that he was doing when he was president. So being tough on China uh, from a trade tariff perspective, and therefore with tariffs that might benefit companies that do more production here in the United States. So manufacturing companies, banks, you know, other particular businesses that do more USA based business rather than global. Yes, yeah, so the presidential election, Japan's interest rates hikes and war issue, everything still remains. So I think this market is really volatile. So what strategy should we take to cover these all three important issues? So I think that um, one thing that we must always remember is we're in August. And in August, that's typically the time of year where the market is less traded and therefore is more volatile because there's less liquidity in the market. So I wouldn't make too much of the move that we're seeing so far in August, obviously leaving aside the specific um, situation with Japan. And I would wait more to see what happened in September and October when things get back to normal. One thing I do know, though, is that when you have some volatility in the market, it's a time to really focus on quality companies Quality companies, again, such as the large technology companies, the NVIDIAs, the Apple, things of the world, because those companies have the resilience we know to fight through tough times. So last interview, we talked about Tesla. But at this time, I want to give you a really sudden question about NVIDIA, because NVIDIA's earnings season will be soon, at the end of the August. So do you have a positive view toward NVIDIA? Yes, I do. Um, I think NVIDIA is the most important stock in the world at the moment. And NVIDIA has sold off, as everybody knows, over the last few weeks. And that's largely on the back of you know, fears of some of these slowdown data points um, more broadly. But I think that um, we are most likely to see another very positive performance from NVIDIA earnings at the end of the month. Okay, so, you know, due to the nature of Korean people and Korean investors, so many people are in interested in leveraged products. But people say that the, the leverage ETF and the real, the real original stock, there is a really big gap. So can you explain why there are really big gap between the leverage ETF and a real original stock? Yeah, so the leveraged ETFs are designed, at least the ones provided by Granite Shares. For the most part, they're two times the performance of the underlying stock over a given day. So, for example, our flagship ETF, the most famous one, NVDL, which is two times leverage on NVIDIA, NVIDIA stock. So, a day, over the course of a day, if NVIDIA goes up by 5%, NVDL will go up by 10%. So over time, there's going to be a difference because of the leverage, and that's really the, the benefit or the advantage to people who buy using leverage um, with these particular single stock ETFs. Oh, thank you. And do you also know that uh, among the Korean people's the buying top number five leverage ETF stocks, all of things are your company's leverage ETF. Do you know? How do you think about that? Um, well, it's, it's very, <laughs> I've actually been, been very amazed by the reception and the popularity that Granite Shares has um, in markets outside of the U.S. and particularly in Korea. It's really amazing to see. So thank you to everybody who supported <laughs> our ETS uh, in that market, and we have plenty more to come. Yes. So how are you forecasting the stock market for the rest of this year and the next year? I hope the stock market can go up and up. So do you also have a positive view toward the stock market? I, I do have a positive view. Um, I think that you know the economy is still in good shape here in the U.S. 
And you know, despite what happened in Japan, which I think largely is due to the carry trade, um, as I talked about, and people having to sell assets that they used uh, when they borrowed money in Japanese yen, the economic the, the economic data still is quite positive. Inflation is coming down. I think interest rates start to come down. We've seen you know employment is still really strong, and you know economic growth is still there. And I think with a with a new potential president. Uh, certainly a presidential election, but uh, potentially even a new president that could give a bump to, to the stock market before the end of the year, almost any any direction, I think. Yes. So all of a sudden, I want to give you a really tricky and pop sudden question. So if Korean people ask you um, between Tesla and NVIDIA right now, because Tesla, uh, Elon Musk CEO, is a lot of um, connection with um, Trump and NVIDIA, the earning so many people are exciting about. So which one do you want to prefer right now? I would say NVIDIA, um, because this year has really been the year of AI. And NVIDIA, like I said, is the most important company in the world at the moment and is leading the race in AI. I do think Tesla has a lot of potential to do well under President Trump. But at the end of the day, as Tesla has to sell more cars, and that is a slightly difficult environment for them at the moment with the slowdown in demand for electric vehicles. I do think if interest rates come down, that will help them because it will help people finance Tesla cars. And I think will stimulate demand for Tesla. But at the moment, NVIDIA, this is all about NVIDIA this year. But some people say that compared to the beginning of this year, NVIDIA is so, so high, so expensive. So can you agree with them? Or do you still think that NVIDIA is still cheap uh, compared to it's the possibility for the future? Oh, uh, NVIDIA is definitely much less high than it was mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. So from the top to now, NVIDIA has sold off about 35%. So if anybody was ever going to take a chance to buy into NVIDIA, then this might be one of the chances before the price goes back up again, if you believe that NVIDIA is going to be a significantly bigger company next year or the year after. So we've seen some very famous investors here in the U.S buying the dip on, on NVIDIA, and we're waiting for that pullback uh, really this year that didn't come up until the last few weeks. So you think that the president price of NVIDIA is very charming. <laughs> I hope <laughs> it can be really, um, can be affected in the real stock market. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. many... Saying it's definitely more attractive than it was a few weeks ago. Yes. So, so many people love the ETF products of your company, Granny Shares. So, can you please give us any tips for Korean uh, investors how to invest leverage ETF, how to invest and um, for the stock markets? Uh, the most important tip is always to understand the product and, you know, the stock that the product is derived from. So, the drivers of Tesla, of course, we talked about. And then, you know, it's up to investors to take that particular view, whether Tesla is the right company for them, whether it's NVIDIA or Coinbase or Apple, et cetera. But what I can tell you is more people are using leveraged single stock ETFs, not just for on the upside, but also for hedging purposes, around earnings, if there's a stock market a down day, or maybe people worried about a few down days, we've seen more interest on the, on the short side of these ETFs. So there's a number of different ways that, that people can use them. Thank you very much. And I know you are so busy. <laughs> However, if you have time later, after the earning of NVIDIA, can we do this interview again? We can, with my pleasure. Wow, thank you so much. And we love Granny Shares, we love NVIDIA. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much to this interview, and I'm look forward to the next interview after the earning of NVIDIA. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Great to see you again. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Thank you. 네, 광복절 아침에 메아리 반가우셨나요? 예, 엔비디아 2X3X로 유명한 그라니 쉐어즈의 윌 린드 씨와 함께 모셔보고서 미증 씨의 현재 상황, 앞으로의 시장 대응 방향, 그리고 테슬라와 엔비디아에 대해서도 함께 이야기 나눠봤습니다. 오늘도 여러분들 좋은 하루 되시길 바라면서요. 저희는 평일 아침 7시 20분에 다시 만나 뵙겠습니다. 내일 다시 만나요. 안녕.